Hello, welcome to the Retro Show. I'm Mike, and we're going to be talking about more games for your 5200. Um, slow, <laughs> it's been slow uh, for this particular system because not many people, everybody sort of focused on the 2600 because that's the most popular system, uh, I guess, of Atari's uh, whole history. It was the first, and it's still the best, but can't forget about the monster system that was the 5200 and seeing this commercial it kind of makes sense why they made it so big because at the time ColecoVision had that little adapter and they lost the battle if you can see right there they lost the battle to stop Coleco from creating this little add-on to play 2600 games so it kind of makes sense to me why um, they actually made the cartridge so big and the console so big uh, I just, I don't, maybe it's just a theory. I have no basis whatsoever on it. It's just my thing at the top of my head. But anyway, you're more interested in new games for your 5200, so stay tuned. All right, so uh, welcome back. So most of these games are... Um, conversions from the 8-bit to the 5200, which seems to be very, very popular. But uh, uh, more games, the better. That's what I always say. I'm going to turn you down because you're kind of loud. You are loud. There we go. So this is Rainbow Walker. I've never, I've heard a lot about this game, but I've never actually played it for any uh, long periods of time. I guess that's the Rainbow Goblin. What? What? Rainbow Goblin! Save me from the Rainbow Goblin! Too crazy over there. Okay. Well. I guess I'm supposed to make rainbows. No, not the Rainbow Goblin! Wow, I suck. He's not doing all my hard work! I know is I'm supposed to survive and and the rainbow goblin is a jerk and I won <laughs> prepare for a bonus round all right Too, too bad. Oh. A pot of gold. 
Not too shabby. Round two. My recording? Yes, I am. Oh, you're supposed to collect them. No, not the rainbow goblin, not the rain, not the bird! Uh. Well, I did a lot better than my first level. Okay, that's new. All right, let's try this again. Oh, come on, it was in another block. <laughs> this doesn't mess around. Oh, come on. So I'm gonna try something else. All right, I'm gonna boot. I'm gonna use um uh, no 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 this guy. Yes, this is called chicken. Settings. Input. Um, with an input. Input setup. So I'm going to use uh, pencil. Input. Input mappings. I'm going to use a controller. Okay, let's see if the control is a little better. Oh, that's a lot better. All right. still what what how am I supposed to go to uh, you know what I bet you it's made for um Oh, I know what it is. It's probably you have to use those, like, um... Oh, I can't think of their names. A paddle! Atari paddle. Oh, I'm supposed to jump over the broken eggs. Or the broken chicks. Ah, alright, alright. Let me try that again. I guess that's the sorting thing. Okay. Level 
one. Ah, oh, it happens so quickly. again. <laughs> all right, all right, that, that was amusing. All right, so I'm going to use... Okay, I'm going to go back to my inputs and put my pain. I want to take that off. And then I'm going to go back here. And now I'm going to use scramble. Um, oh yeah, I gotta find out, input setup, cancel, input mappings, uh, edit, so if I, so I'm gonna have to find out what the controls are, start, pause, reset, up key, down, button one, button two, left control, left shift, oh, okay, all right, all right. That's fine. Ah! I played this earlier and I just realized, I, where's my bombs? I didn't know where my bombs were. Perfect! I'm actually using an, uh, a new emulator, which is called Altira, Altira, which I must say I like. I got a free life. Hooray! Ah, uh, just missed it. Anytime now. Whoa! Oh, come on! Oh, okay, I didn't start from the beginning.
was a lot of fun. So yeah, this um, new uh, emulator. Let's see about Avery Lee, two thousand and eight, two thousand seventeen. Good work, Mr. Lee. Very good work. I like it. All right. So now the last one I be do believe is a yeah, it's conversion. <laughs> Laser gates. Freaking laser beams. Oh, that's not good. Yes, I die. I knew how to convert. Uh, it was like a simple batch file or something I could convert some of my favorite uh, Atari uh, 2600 games to the 5200. I'm oh, sorry. Let me think of that. I wanted to convert 8 bit Atari games to the 5200, or at least give me a tutorial on how to do it. Unless I have to know actual, like, cleanup coding. I'm not going to make it, because there's an energy thing. Am I missing something? Yep. I don't get it. <laughs> Probably need to read the instructions. <laughs> Let's see what the demo does. He's not running out of energy. He's on another planet. And it's a lot harder. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. 
So he's running out of energy. So am I missing something? I'm not going to read the instructions. I'm not going to look for it, but I like the. No, he's just going through it just like I did. I, I don't get it. Is it a coding thing? Huh, anyway, that's enough. You can fairly figure it out on your own. Probably read the instructions to find out why my energy bar is going so quickly and how can I replenish it. Anyway, if you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give me a thumbs down. Any feedback would be appreciative. Until the next video, this is Mike, signing off.